Yo, hello. It's Povika from Editing Visuals here, and let's begin. So first, we need to pre-compose our clips or clip. So what we can do is right-click on our clip and press pre-compose, and here move all attributes into new composition, and we can call it CRT. Press OK. Now press on the pre-composition layer. In the pre-composition layer, you need to go to composition, composition settings, and here we need to set the width to 720 and the height to 480. And you can have the frame rate whatever you want. This is what I have. I sometimes have it at 24. Now we will have this very zoomed in so we can zoom out a little bit i like it somewhere to 45 and now we need to press ctrl to y this will make a new adjustment layer and the first effect we will want to add is glow we only want the normal glow here make the glow threshold 63.1 percent the glow intensity to 0.8 now we're going to add transform. Here we need to set the scale to 110. Now let's add noise. Set the amount of noise to 15% and unclick use color noise. Add exposure. Make the exposure to 1.35 and click on the stopwatch on the exposure. Now add CC vignette. Make the amount 120. Add CC wide time. And make the forward steps 2 and backward steps 2 and native motion blur on. Now we need to press on all of these stopwatches and now we can Press E on the adjustment layer, go to CC white time, go to compositing options and make the effect opacity 22. Now let's go back here and add unsharp mask. Here we need to set the amount to about 78, the radius to 4.5. Now we need to add CC threshold RGB, make the red threshold 102, green threshold 124.9, blue threshold 181, and press on invert blue channel, and make the blend with original 82%. Now we're starting to get our CRT look. Now we need to add wave warp, make the wave type to noise, and make the wave height to wave width 20. Now add grid. In the grid we need to make the size form width and height sliders, make the width 4, make the height to, and the Border to 1, go to color and make this to just dark, and go to blending mode and make it hard light. Add the sharpen, make the sharpen amount 25. Now here we have our little CRT glitch, and uh, now we need to press U on the layer, and here we will have our exposure settings, and what we need to do is go 1, 2, 3, go 3 or 4 frames forward, and make the exposure here to minus 0 0.23, and now hold alt and press on the stopwatch, here type loop out, and select it, and this will have a little flicker, we can also save this effect as a preset if we go to CC white time and click on it here go to compositing options keyframe here press one of the effects press ctrl a now hold shift select all of the keyframes press animation save animation preset crt press save whenever you want to add it you can make a new adjustment layer and type crt we need to go back to our original layer and here it's going to look like this so what we need to actually do is press s and make the scale to somewhat 267 of course you can mess around here a lot and now we can go back what we can also do here is unclick this button right Right here come back to our original layer here and we can press ctrl to y and we can add some of our effects from our editing visuals website where we have amazing editing packs and one of the packs is the tv glitch overlay pack v2 what you can do is type tv if you have the pack and go to the effects one of my favorite effects to add is the tv glitch effect 25 absolutely incredible look this is already sort of a crd effect another effect that i love is the tv glitch effect 24 also with tv glitch effect 12 i made the want this text from the intro of the video so if you want to make the text from the intro of the video you can just drag and drop tv glitch effect 12 and then mess around with the text another great pack we have is the halloween pack if you like really glowy and cool effects you should definitely check it out and let's get back to the tutorial let's go back to our crt composition click back on this i'm going to show you now how you can make a crt text with just this preset so we can make a new text CRT and now let's place it below our adjustment layer and what we can do now is right click on the text layer press pre-compose called whatever like text and press ok and now go to this pre-composition and here you just need to go to our effects and presets and add CRT that we made today now let's go back and we will have made this sort of CRT text a very cool variation for this text is to add invert you really need to mess around with this text it's a really cool text all right if you have any questions then please let me know make sure to try out different settings because you can come off with something cool have a fun and productive day. See ya.